Now the DC power that's generated from the turbine about 200 yards away comes through large underground lines into this here building where we have a 48 volt battery bank. Deep cycle batteries, 48 volts. The power from the water turbine is coming in here. The 48 volt battery bank. Up here we have a very important piece of equipment. This here is called a dump controller, a DC dump controller. Remember the alternator doesn't have a regulator. We took the regulator out so there's nothing there to control how much power is put into the batteries. So it could overcharge the batteries but we don't want it to overcharge the batteries so we have a dump controller. The dump controller is hooked up to the batteries. It monitors the battery's voltage. When the battery's voltage reaches its peak, which is for a 48 volt bank, for this particular bank is about 56 volts, this dump controller will start dumping the extra power to another source. And this, in this case, the other source is a water heater that's in the house. So it starts dumping power to the water heater and so we can make use of that power that it dumps as well. That way it protects the batteries from being overcharged. So for anybody that's interested in this kind of stuff, I'll just go over the components that we have here. We have our battery bank that's being charged by the turbine as its source. This battery bank produces 48 volt DC power, which is really no good for the house. It's got to be AC power, and it's got to be 110 volts. So the DC power comes into this here panel, then it goes through this, these inverters. These are called inverters. They take DC power and they convert it into AC power, which is able to be used in a normal house. So each of these inverters puts out 3.6 kilowatts. Together that's over 7 kilowatts. They surge to double that which is 14 kilowatt. That's if you're starting motors like a table saw. There's always a surge. So these are built to surge. These are good inverters actually made by Outback Power Systems. We chose these inverters because they have a pure sine wave whereas other inverters have a modified stepped sine wave. These are pure and they're easier on electronic devices like computers. The other good thing about these Outback inverters is that they can be stacked. So you can keep stacking. We have room for another one here. You can stack these things up to 10. So 10 times 3.6 kilowatts is 36 kilowatts. So there's, that's a lot of power. And it gives us a readout of the status and right now we're only using 0.1 kilowatt and we are produ we are we have 52 volts in the battery reserve 52 volts so that's pretty good for a 48 volt battery bank it's actually charging in the charging stage right now and this controller here has a lot of different features a very powerful controller you can uh, turn off and on signals and you can turn on and off a generator and you can do a lot of things with this.